All right, so, hey guys. Ha! Uh, driving vlog. Yay! Um, a, a chance for me to actually project because this is on a GoPro and it's in its little thing. And um, for those who don't know, uh, like the Bionic Commando trilogy videos that I've been doing, I've been using the GoPro to actually get that footage and it's still in the same casing or whatever. Um, if you don't, if you hear it without the, uh, the uh, Fraps audio, that I do for it, you know, like the, the voice on the through fraps and all that. Uh, it sounds very, very um, faint, I guess, and very, uh, oh shit, uh, okay, apologies for the sun. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is what I get for doing it while driving east. Um, <laughs> I'm actually just kind of farting around a little bit waiting for my aunt to get out of something, so just gonna vlog to you guys, because why the hell not? Um, Ah, because I was, I was actually listening to the latest episode of What the Fuck, which, by the way, you can find that and download that um, at 1201beyond.com. Um, supposed to be going up on my site, but we've just been having admin issues, and the person responsible for it just hasn't been doing it, and, and admittedly, I haven't been poking them. Oops. Um, <laughs> but, you know, hey, you want, you want to be an admin for the site? Come on down. Um, just, you know, no, link will be down there. Um, let's see. Uh, but yeah, I was listening to that, and they, they were talking about this American Sniper movie. And I will admit, I haven't seen it, I haven't done much into it, but what I've heard so far... Um, yeah, what the fuck, America? What the fuck? I mean, just... This is a guy who, from all accounts that I've heard so far, was unashamed in killing, you know... You know, you know, in killing the enemy, and, and, and to the point where he dehumanizes them, even even outside of the constructs of battle. You know, I mean, because in battle, you know, you got, you know, you're fighting for your life, and I'm sure there's some form of you know some aspect or, or, or amount of dehumanization that happens because it's either you or him or her. Um, you know. Oh, excuse me. Ah, uh, but. Uh. It's either, it's either you or them. And, yeah, I know, I, I repeat myself, that's fine. <laughs> um, but that's what vlogs are for. Um, anyways, after that little bit of a tangent there. Um, so, now the movie, this movie is made that glorifies them to such a degree that, 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 again, according to the accounts I've heard, there have been people threatening Muslim Americans, you know? And it's like, why? Why would you do that? Why? Because a bunch of pissed off Muslims, bought, you know, ran our planes into the Twin Towers back in 2001? It's like, God damn it! I mean, I mean, just, it's like, hashtag not all Muslims, hashtag all, not all this, you know? Boom! I mean, it, it should be obvious. It should be very obvious to everybody, really. Uh, but no, people have to be constantly reminded because if they don't, you know, at least in some areas, then, you know, People have to be constantly reminded. Usually it's white people that have to be reminded that not all Muslims do this, or not all non-Christians do this, or etc., etc., etc. Well, I say white people. It's typically white Christian people. White male Christians, even female Christians, will do this. Now, note my language. Did I say not all Christians? Did I say, excuse me, did I say all Christians? No. I said Christians. Blanket statement does not mean everybody. All right? Because, you know, you could throw a blanket over something. It may not necessarily get everybody. That's the concept of a blanket statement. You know? And you pay attention to language. I, You know, I've ranted about it a little bit on Thespian Talk, you know? You pay attention to the language. Just because it's one person's experience doesn't mean it's somebody else's experience. You know? And in my experience, with, with, with like, all of these minorities that people are bitching about, all, you know, they're nothing but nice people to me. You know, there's assholes in the bunch. There's assholes in every bunch. But they're generally nice people, especially in my experience. And I like, and I think that it's my experience that's also mirrored with a lot of other experiences too. Ah, uh, just it's crazy, man. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. <laughs> so this whole American sniper thing, I, I just, I just want to say, uh, from what I understand, the guy is dead. Fuck him. Just fuck him. I'm, 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 
I'm borderline saying I'm glad he's dead. That way he doesn't spread his shit around anymore. But I don't know how much of a dick that would make me. <laughs> well, and, and I'm kind of to a point where I almost don't care. Almost. Uh, because from, again, from what I'm hearing, not only was he unashamed and, in, in, in fact, pretty much enjoyed his job. Um, you know, you could be a soldier, you could be a sniper and shit. But if you're enjoying it to the point, from what I'm hearing, this guy enjoyed it. Yeah, you might have some issues there. Just, just a bit, a bit. <laughs> just, just a small bit of issues there. It's, it's like, dude, are you okay? Um. So yeah. Again, uh, the lighting is if the, if the light and the and the visuals are are wonky or whatever. Um, it is about 5:09 local time here, so the sun's going down and all that good stuff. So, oh hey, kitty. <laughs> uh, but anyway, back on topic. Um, fuck Chris Kyle. Fuck him. Um, and to everybody who is taking American Sniper and using that as an example of, you know, using his portrayal in American Sniper as an example of a good American hero, you know, like fucking G.I. Joe or some shit. Um, stop proving George Carlin right. Seriously, he has made... How uh, he like spent a good portion of one of his shows, you know, reminding everybody in the audience that we are a warlike nation. We should not be. You know, it's like what the fuck. You know what war does? It it, it expends people like like it's fuck. You know, like this fucking shake here. All right. You know, like this is this is the people, and the war is going on in my mouth. Okay. Here's this. Mm. Ah. There. That's your cousins, and your brothers, and your fathers, and your mothers. That's your family that just got sent to die in my mouth. Boy, I, I would love to see that taken out of context. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Uh, but in all seriousness, guys, it's just... This guy, this... I, I, I know I'm reiterating. I know I'm, I'm kind of repeating myself here. But fuck this guy. You know, if he was alive, I would probably spit in his face. And I know some people are going to be like, Oh, how dare you, soldier! Oh, no, no, no. no, fuck you. If a soldier is an asshole, if he's a piece of shit, then the soldier's a piece of shit, alright? There's a profession just like anybody else. Yeah, they put their lives on the line for whatever armchair general decides, Hey, we need to go blow up some things, but I don't want to get my hands dirty. Okay? You know? Soldiers are people, too. And that's what a lot of people tend to forget is that soldiers are people too. Which, I know, a lot of you think, watching or whatever probably like, well, no fucking shit, man. Mm, yeah. Soldiers are people. Let's treat them that way. And also, um, if you're listening and you're with the government or whatever, um, how about, you know, veterans benefits? How about we give those an increase? That would be a good idea. I think. Ah, so, I rambled. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna let this make this run any longer than what it already has. Um, so yeah, just a bunch of rambling from me. If you guys enjoyed it, all right. If not, well, sorry. But hey, you know, I, I put this up here because I just got to get it out somehow. And I, I, I bet you he has a small penis. Mm. But um, <laughs> you guys can't even see what I'm seeing, so, so you know, you can only hear. <laughs> or you only see me. Which, yeah. At any rate, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you guys for watching, if you just actually watched all the way through this. Um, might do a couple of more before I have to finish out the day or whatever. But hey, you know, at least I'm doing these. Kind of try and do these a little bit more often. If I go driving more often, especially if I get a driving job. <laughs> see those at least once or twice a week about, about it, huh? Well, at least eventually. But well, that's for another video. So until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.